Okay, I think we're good. It's showtime! What's up everybody, welcome to Toys and Tackle where we open a toy and take a look at some new fishing tackle. That's right, this is gonna be a new video series that I'm kicking off right here with this video. The first series of its kind, at least I think it is. I've never seen anything out there like this and I have no idea why anyone else would think of this. It's pretty off the wall. So why did I wanna do this? Well, obviously I collect action figures. As you can see here behind me, I have a pretty big collection of action figures and toys from the 80s, 90s, and I really love fishing. And I was on my way in here to film a toy unboxing video for these turtles that you see here in front of me. I was setting up the new table and I was also getting ready to film separately like a fishing gear video because I also just went and picked up some new tackle and it just hit me. What if I do it both in one video, call it toys and tackle, start a new video series, open up the toy, show the new tackle and just see where it goes from here. It was just a crazy idea that hit me out of nowhere, toys and tackle. And I was like, why not? Why not just put them both in the same video, see what happens. Maybe there's some other people out there who collect action figures that also like fishing. I mean, why not? I know a lot of you guys out there found this channel from the toy collection video. That video has done really well. I think it has about 16 or 17,000 views. I know that a whole lot of you have found the channel from that video and it's been a while since I've done a toy video. So I wanted to make another action figure video. These are from the movie that came out in the 90s. They're made by NECA. You can get them at GameStop. $22.99 price tag on these guys. And I wanna open them on camera for you right now. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna show you all the new flipping baits that I got for the next time that I go fishing with Tyler and we're flipping docks, so I'll have the correct kind of gear. So that's what's going down in this video. New Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys, new tackle, and I'm just gonna freestyle this whole thing and hopefully not blow it because I've never done a video like this, obviously. This is the first video of this kind, but I went and got this new table, got it set up in the office here. So let's just jump right into it, man. I'm gonna crack open these turtles and then we'll look at the tackle and then we'll see where this goes from here and we'll just have a good time, man. That's what it's about, having fun. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle unboxing, new flipping baits. I got a bunch of cool stuff to show you guys, toys and fishing. So if you like either one of those things or both of those things, stay tuned, let's get into it. I'm gonna crack these turtles open right now. I got this switchblade from a flea market when I was like 10. Which one should we open first? Let's go with Donatello. Shout out to Ray if you're watching, what's up bro? All right, let's get into it, man. Cutting into the first turtle now. These are GameStop exclusives. I don't know if I said that already. You can only get these at GameStop. $22.99, you can see there. It's a good look at the packaging. A close look at that. It's pretty nice. It looks really good, man. Stoked on these, man. Awesome price point. I grew up watching this movie. Really excited to get these into my collection. I just gotta undo the twisty. Got the twisty tie in there. All right. I wanna be careful, man. You gotta be careful opening your action figures because they've been known to sometimes be a little fragile. You don't wanna break your stuff right out of the package. Now, knock on, knock on wood there. One thing I don't like is how they stick the arms through these holes. You gotta be real careful taking the arms and legs out of these holes. See how the arms are stuck through the holes in the plastic? There we go. So you wanna push it up from the back. And that'll keep from putting any unneeded pressure on the joints of the arms. One foot out. Two foot out. Donatello is free. All right, we got Donatello out now. Did not break the figure. Stoked on that. Weapons, I'm just gonna get him weaponed up and move on to the next turtle. Check him out, check him out, man. He looks pretty awesome. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's throw him right here. Donatello, chilling. Who's next, man? This is an interesting piece right here, check this out. So this guy, Michelangelo box, Raphael inside. So it's a little packaging error. Or what I think may have happened is they might have just ran out of Raphael boxes and wanted to just keep rocking and rolling with productions and getting product out to the stores. So they just uh, 
had Michelangelo boxes, so they so they took the Raphael and stuck it in Michelangelo boxes, kept rocking and rolling. It may have been what happened, or it may have just been a legitimate mistake. Either way, pretty cool. You can see right here, this is not a return. Factory sealed Raphael in a Michelangelo box. So that's pretty cool. Let's crack it open. Shout outs to everybody that found me through the toy vids, man. You guys uh, deserve a video. This is a long time coming, man. I appreciate everybody who subscribed from that toy collection vid. This one's for you. Cracking into Raphael in the Michelangelo box. Would have liked to have the Raphael box. So that, oh, somebody's here. Somebody ring the doorbell. Delivery. Delivery. Dog's, dog's going nuts because the delivery guy just dropped off a package. Check the security cameras. It's all good. Let's keep rocking and rolling with this unboxing. Getting into Raphael. I'm gonna do the same thing as before. Push the shell from the back. And then push up on the arms from the back. Be very gentle. You don't want to break this guy. Don't put any pressure. There you go. Now I got the whole body out. Now just delicately take out the feet. Work perfectly. On the last one, I'm going to do the same thing here. One, two. Now that we got the process, that's it, dude. See a lot of people on Facebook posting about how they're breaking these things while they're unboxing them. Needing new arms, needing new legs. Just be careful. Be gentle. There's Raphael out of the package. Let's get him weaponed up. All right, that's pretty freaking epic, dude. That looks awesome, check this out. Check him out. Raphael is badass, dude. Everybody loves Raph, man. I think most people like Raphael as their favorite turtle. I'm gonna have to probably lean like Michelangelo, bro. But uh, yeah, dude, Raphael is badass. Speaking of Michelangelo, we'll save him for last. Let's crack into Leonardo here. Only got two left, dude. It's going quick. It's going quick. Here, I'll move these guys a little bit closer so you can get a little bit better look on th on this camera. I'll show you guys on this camera once we're done opening everything. Here's a look at Leo in the package here. Leonardo in a Leonardo box. Uh, a lot of people have been kind of complaining that Leonardo's eyes are looking kind of like a little funny. And I kind of see it too. But I think in the movie, his eyes were a little... <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So, I don't know, man. Hey! Shut up! Man, my dogs just keep growling. They're like fighting over something out there and they just keep growling, making noise, messing with the audio. But anyways, we're gonna crack into Leonardo. Right now, let's get into this with the old school switch blade from when I was like 10. I remember I was at the flea market. They had a black one and a white one. My buddy Brandon, he was buying the black one and I needed like 10 more dollars so that I could buy the white one and I had to like borrow it from his mom and I ended up with the $20 switch blade, bro. We each had a switch blade. That's how we grew up. Anyways, back to Leonardo. There's Leo fresh out the box. Gotta undo the, the twisty tie. Gently pull out the twist tie, set it to the side. Now let's put this unboxing technique to the test and see if we've really got it dialed here. Push from the shell on the back at the top. Then gently push up on the fists and then rotate the feet out one at a time at the bottom. And they come right out, super easy, no issue. Man, if I'm being 100% honest, a lot of people hate on Leo, but he's one of my favorite turtles, man. Dude, no, he looks good. His eyes look movie accurate, if you ask me, man. That's what he looked like in the movie. Oh, oh my gosh, sorry. Smack the GoPro there. Rearrange, reset. There we go. There's a shot of Leo out of the package. Let's get him hooked up with his samurai swords. Or, sorry, they're not samurai swords. They're ninja swords. Let's get him hooked up with his weapons. Be careful with this. Oh, I was just saying be careful with the sword and look what happened. Oh, God. No extra swords either. Uh, man, that's what I get for talking shh. It slipped out of my hand, put too much pressure on the sword, and it broke. These things happen. There are ways to repair this stuff. <sighs> man, I really wanted to hook Leo up with both of his swords. I'm not gonna be able to do that now. Jack that up. Okay, so one thing that I can say is that the swords are super delicate. If you bend them, they're gonna break, and that's what just happened. I was pushing it into the fist, Whatever, you guys saw it, no excuses. I should have been more careful. That's a bummer. 
We're gonna fix it, I promise. Sorry, Brew. I'm sorry I broke your sword. That's a bummer. Let's move on to the last one. Moving right along, rock and roll. You gotta close it and reopen it every time. It's time to open Michelangelo. I'm gonna be super careful with the weapons and everything this time, not just the turtle. Gosh, you gotta be careful with everything. Should have known. Jinx myself. Did not knock on the wood hard enough. So, anyways, here we go. Michelangelo coming out of the box. The fourth and final turtle before we move on to the fishing gear. There he is, man. I think Michelangelo might look the most accurate out of all of them. He just has the best face, the best, like, just the best sculpt. Everything on him looks so good, so perfect. Stoked on this guy. Let's get him out. Bro, he looks awesome. Here's his little nunchucks. I'm gonna be super careful with these guys. And there's Michelangelo with a slice of pizza and a nunchuck <clears throat> out of the package. He looks awesome. And there they are, all four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie edition. Once again, these are the movie turtles from NECA. They look amazing. So as you guys can see, the turtles are very detailed, very accurate. They look just like the turtles that were in the movies. But there they are, all four Ninja Turtles. This isn't necessarily an action figure review. I just wanted to open them for you guys, show you the turtles up close, show you something cool. So there it is, and there they are, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now let's move on to the fishing gear that I got. It's gonna be flipping gear. Let's get into it. I'm gonna put these guys over here, let them guard the shot. That'll work. So. Starting out with a couple items, not too exciting. I got a new pair of scissors to try. They are CUDA titanium bonded. Titanium bonded blades cuts mono and braided line. I have a pair of Rapala scissors that work just fine to cut both, but I wanted to try these and see if they were any better. Um, and it couldn't hurt to have an extra pair. So I grabbed these guys right here. This is what they look like in the package. Also, while I was there, I noticed that Power Pro came out with this V2 super slick braid. So I went ahead and picked up a spool in 50 pound braid, which is what I use a lot of the time, 50 pound braid to a 15 pound liter. So that's what I'm rocking right here. Just look at the new packaging, the V2 Power Pro super slick braid. Nothing too exciting there. Next up, let's get into the hardware. So next up is gonna be the hooks and weights. Bobber stoppers, I got some pegs so that I can peg my weights. What weights? These weights. I also got these tungsten flipping weights. I got some H2O Express half ounce and a one ounce flipping weight. And then I got these Strike King tungsten flipping weights as well. The last time I was out fishing with Tyler, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It was awesome, we had a good time, caught some fish. Caught some, caught some really nice fish, and uh, that video turned out great. I'll put a link in the description if you haven't seen that already, go check it out. But when I was out there fishing with him, he was doing some flipping and he had some stuff set up that I didn't have the gear for. So I wanted to go out and get some flipping weights and some flipping hooks. I got some VMC flipping hooks. I also got some Gamakatsu 4 aught flipping hooks. These are straight shank hooks with the little keeper up at the top, and then you tie a snell knot on there and it hooks the fish a certain way and gets a, a good hook set every time. Something that uh, Tyler was teaching me about and showing me about, but something that I did not have the gear to do on my own. So I went and picked up these flipping hooks, these flipping weights, and some more pegs so that I could have the gear to get it done the next time I'm out there flipping docks with Tyler. So there's the weights and the hooks, the bobber stops, the scissors, and the braid. Now, moving on to the fun stuff, the actual baits. <clears throat> so, while I was out there fishing with Tyler, the bait that I caught all my fish on that day was this bait right here. The Guggen Baits Bandito Bug. So I snagged a few packs of the Bandito Bug by Guggen Baits. Got three different colors. Let's take a look here. Got the Natural.
Got the Summer Craw. And I got the Bama Bug pattern. I really like that Bama Bug pattern. It's got that kind of red look to it with the green and blue flake. Or, yeah, it looks, uh, I think that's gonna do good. That one right there, I can't wait to fish with that one. But anyways, three more packs of Bandito Bugs. I haven't really picked up any of the other Guggen baits, the trench hogs or the Mondo worms or any of that stuff yet. Really this one, if you look at the action of this bait in the water, it is really something. It, it flutters, it swims. So even for like just a bait to just swim through the water, this is really good. I went through my first pack, picked up a few more packs. I'm gonna keep fishing with them. The Bandito bug from Guggen Baits, it's caught me some nice fish. Guggen Baits, Bandito bug. Caught me some fish, caught me some fish. So let's snag some more. Now these next three baits are new baits to me. Missile baits. This is what Tyler was throwing, the D-bomb. So I snagged a bag of these, the D-bomb. These are in Desert Storm color. Shout out to Desert Storm trading cards. Does anybody remember those back in the day in the 90s when Desert Storm was going on? They had these trading cards and it had like General Schwarzkopf on there and then like Panzer Tank and Desert Storm trading cards, man. I know the action figure collectors out there probably remember that, but picked up some missile baits, D bombs. Also got these baby D bombs. I didn't realize they were baby D bombs until after I left the store, but I really like the color. Green pumpkin flash. Even though they are the smaller ones, I think I could still use them uh, maybe on a three odd hook or as a jig trailer. So I'll probably hang on to them, keep them in the arsenal. And last but not least, Probably my favorite new bait that I picked up. This is called a Baby Destroyer from Missile Baits. Look at this guy. I'm gonna pull this guy out. Look at that thing. That is a wild looking bait. Super cool. Oh, they got a smell. They got a black licorice smell for sure. So, Missile Baits, Baby Destroyer. Excited to uh, get out there and fish with that guy. Love the color, candy grass, awesome. But that's it, that's gonna wrap it up. That's everything that I got. That's all the turtles, that's everything unboxed right here in front of me on the table. Let's see, can you guys even see this stuff? You guys can't even see this stuff, look, look, look. I hope you enjoyed this new little series, this new little video series. New setup back here in the office, got the new table. So I'll be filming videos back here like this more often in this format, trying to get a little something new going, just a little bit better content, a little bit better lighting, a little bit better background, something more enjoyable, something a little bit more aesthetic to look at. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Let's get one last look at these turtles. Super bummed I freaking broke uh, Leonardo's sword already, but I'll fix it. I'll fix it, no worries. But there it is, guys. There's the baits, there's the turtles. That's gonna wrap this one up. Thank you so much for joining me. We did it, the first episode of Toys and Tackle in the books, we knocked it out. I think we, I don't know, man. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I'm gonna edit it and I'm gonna post it. And I'm gonna let you guys see me open these turtles and break down all these baits for you guys. I can't wait to get down there and fish with all this new stuff and i also can't wait to get these turtles added to the collection here behind me i know they're gonna fit right in with all this other awesome stuff that i have that's gonna do it for this one man go down below click that thumbs up button leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you have anything to add it means the world to me that you take time out of your day to watch my videos thank you so much for tuning in guys i'll see you on the next video